where are we? What the hell is this, 1984? I know, you know, I'm alone. There must be men of counter passions, perhaps, maybe not the same. Outside of Dick Gregory, the black community is fascinating. I think that Cosby is a fraud. He's dancing on the grave of every black guy who wears a green beret. He's standing there and denying that the last 25 years took place. He stands there and talks about his family like nothing ever happened. He's denying all of that struggle. Standing there with Mrs. Coretta King as credential. She's his frequent house guest. I was in London. I talked to Peter Donay, who is the number one detective there. We have evidence that leads us to believe that the man who was tried here is not the man who was apprehended in London. Mm. James Earl Ray said in court, if the government is, believes in a conspiracy, let the government have a trial. And there's no trial. Bill Cosby doesn't ask for one. Bill Cosby banks money. And, and he impersonates a Negro. Well, he's, he, I'm more black than he is. Where are the men? Where are the men who are going to save this country? Where are the Americans? Now, I know that I risk uh, ridicule and that people are going to say it's uh, hokey and it's flag-waving, but we have a very simple mission, although it's somewhat overwhelming, and that is to save America. Because we're altruistic? No, because we have to live somewhere. I don't know if it's too late. From what I have seen, those are the indications. But as uh, Major Ernesto Guevara said, you know, you know they're going to kill you. We'll take that as our basic premise. Now let's get back on the trail and start <laughs> marching. Ours, the Viennese, used to say in Freud's time, situation hopeless but not serious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you mentioned Bill, Bill Cosby, and that made me think of Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. uh, Richard Pryor doesn't really do a lot of stuff about the war, but he's certainly pretty honest. Uh, well, you know, I have no place to see him, Alan. I, mm. I, uh, we did a show in Los Angeles recently for ABC called The Humor of the Sixties, mm. and Richard was on it. And I, I laughed once, I remember, when he said, they tried to bait him. They said, you copied Cosby, didn't you? So instead of denying it, he said, in his formative years, he said, uh, yes, I did, but uh, since Cosby never came up with anything new, I was forced to become <laughs> creative. <laughs> so I thought it was a marvelous. I mean, it, he has a beautiful backhand. He yeah. didn't move. He looked impassive. And he just. Uh, but I've heard from many quarters, which I mean, are reputable, such yeah. as yourself, reputable in my opinion, in my estimate, uh, and uh, uh, that uh, you know he's on the right side and he cares about something. The, he made me think of Lenny Bruce when I saw him here. So I have no place to see him. And uh, he, I have no place. He to appears see. here pretty pretty frequently. Here in town. In San, yeah, he's. Uh, where does he work? Basin Street, and Has also he? in the Showcase in Oakland now. It's a, the Showcase. A black oh, really? Club. Yeah, I'd like to get over there. Well, I have no place and, to uh, see him, so I have no access. See, he, but he's going to be at the Showcase next weekend, the weekend after you're gone. Why doesn't anyway, uh, Bill Cosby make his program available but, to you know, Greg? If you've ever Friar. seen him on television, it, it's a completely different show in the nightclub. I mean, he's really much better in the club. He can say what he wants to say. He doesn't have to worry about uh, offensive four, six, ten, and twelve letter words. What is his outlook, would you say? Well, a lot of people. Uh, I, you know, think he's terribly negative and uh, justifiable and, and hostile. Yeah, well, yeah. that's sort of it. <laughs> that's true. But, yeah, uh, but in other words, it's beautifully. It's a true picture. It's not Cosby standing there saying, no, "I love no. you all," and you know he doesn't. He doesn't. Cosby went into his office some months ago in Los Angeles and fired all the white people, which I fail to see as a sign of progress. <laughs> uh, you know, it's insanity. But uh, you know, uh, to alternate the oppressor. It's hardly yeah. uh, an advance, but uh, yeah. Well, Pryor is, Pryor is really reflecting a contemporary uh, he really attitude, is. honestly. Well, I can't say that about too many performers. Can you? No, <laughs> I mean, I can't. that's it. <laughs> you know, I think uh, that's what I have against all of them. That's why I think that Johnny Carson and Bob Hope and Frank Sinatra, those people who prevail, and Streisand, are completely out of touch with America. It's out of touch as uh, Richard Nixon is. Absolutely.